You're looking very relaxed today. Thank you very much. What happened? I'm lacking sleep. Um, but, uh, well, yeah, maybe that's my um, body to respond to that. <laughs> it suits you well, I have to say. It <laughs> suits you, you very, very well. Don't change anything. Keep Thanks. doing whatever it is you're doing. All right. I will. And welcome back to the channel and yet another episode of reviewing your round the water films with the awesome Matthias and Sebastian. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in again, guys, as we're going to be watching and reviewing another one of the submissions that we received for the series. Sebastian, do you want to tell us whose video we'll be watching today? Pleasure to do that. Uh, today's video is from uh, Sean Clark. Mm -hmm. And um, well, it's pretty, pretty interesting because um, Sean was filming in, uh, in the Ginny Springs uh, catacombs with the GoPro, now I have to look it up, GoPro uh, 11. Okay. Um, but the interesting thing is he was using um, seven lights. Seven. He was using seven lights. Yes. So I'm guessing not all on the camera, but... Well, maybe. <laughs> Placed in different areas? No, he, uh, he told us he was using two Light and Motion Solar 3800 Pros on the camera. All right. Then he was using um, three Big Blue 1500 Kelvin uh, Warm White and one, mm -hmm. um, one 30K Warm White off camera as well. And if I'm counting correct, it's not seven, it's six. So uh, it's still a lot of lights. Yeah, still a lot of lights, yeah. Okay. Do we know anything else? Um, no. Well, he used a lot of lights. He used a GoPro 11. We're most probably in some kind of cave environment. Okay. So it's going to be really interesting. Okay. So why don't we just watch it? Let's do that.
Wow. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool. That was pretty cool. That was really cool. Thank you, yeah. Sean, so much for submitting this very, very unique video and uh, yeah, allowing us to review it here on the channel. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, me too. Me too. You want to start? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, definitely. Now I'm just... Well, first of all, like kudos to to uh, Sean um, on, on the on the whole effort he put in in the video, uh, because like, I mean, you had, there's a, I'm pretty sure there was a lot of planning involved. Mm -hmm. Then uh, a lot of equipment was used, mm -hmm. and then the the execution. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there was no no space for somebody else. So I think you did it all on your own. So it's even more impressive mm -hmm. to prep on your own and film it on your own and and be in there and it, it looks very nice it's very well lit but like to be honest it's 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 pitch black there and there without any lights so it's like hence the six lights yeah, yeah i mean it's like all the preparation now and execution. I understand. it's uh it's pretty cool i would be really curious sean if you could let us know uh if you had any assistance mm. filming all the scenes um and also um whether or not you filmed it all in one single dive or whether it was spread over a you know, number of different dives that you did. Yeah, because that, like I, I sometimes I thought, okay, you can see it because if the cave line is is already there, mm -hmm. then he just went back, just went back and did it again. But I think in almost every shot, he had, he had the the reel in his hand and was coming with a fresh cave li uh, line in, mm -hmm. into into the the, the shot. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. And yeah, talking about the shots, I think. They're really, really nice. They have a very nice framing. Yeah. Very interesting framing. It's not just like you see the cave and that's mm -hmm. it. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty cool. He swims into it. He leaves it. He swims over the camera. Yeah, and oftentimes you also, Sean, you also had like a foreground element. You placed the camera in a way so that there was something in the foreground and you, you gave the image some depth, which was really cool, which mm -hmm. also obviously your lights helped a lot, giving some depth by pointing them in a way so they would illuminate the sort of the, the 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 further away parts of the cave or of the caverns that you were swimming through the chambers that you were swimming through i really enjoyed that it, it looked very dynamic and even though you know there was no the camera was always stationary there's no movement in the camera and he was swimming very slowly and controlled yeah. it still had the dynamic in it because of the composition the framing the depth in the in the shots it was totally captivating with the, all the music and all the stuff mm. and you talk just talk uh, briefly about the lights and i was i'm curious sean um if it was intentionally that they were um warm um warm lights because i i think it gave it a really nice touch to, ha to have mm -hmm. this this these yellow colors in it um mm -hmm. i don't know what kind of what kind of rock you have in in in, in uh, genius springs but uh maybe they're already yellow and it got a little bit more out it mm. was a very nice tone it was but it was only the warm lights were only on the off camera lights yeah like right? the, the, the warm three colors. or four yeah and on the the light that was on the camera itself that was mainly illuminating sean that was a regular yeah it just it, it was just i was just checking here and it was the, the regular solar 3800 pros okay so i'm, I'm guessing they are nice. like the neutral yeah that's, uh, a, yeah, that's so actually, pretty cool. That's a, that's a cool, a cool um, decision, a cool way of uh, of getting these shots by having different colored, the different lights with different colored temperature. That's the way to put it. Um, to have uh, to have the background in a slightly different color temperature than than the foreground than himself. So I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that yeah, a lot. It's cool. Yeah. Do we need to talk about the fact that Sean? Only has one leg. Well, even even more impressive. I right? Mean, because I, if I if I imagine myself just swimming and just using only one fin, that's in some parts already challenging. And he's navigating within the cave and doing all that stuff with just one fin, which is really impressive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's yeah. Just Agreed. kudos to that. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So uh, yeah, thumbs up, uh, Sean. Very very. Very well done on this uh, on this film Definitely, that you yeah. sent in. Do we have anything that we want to pass on to him in terms of improvement? Yeah, I got. I have two points written down here. Please. Um, 
the first thing is if you do something like that, like this, this captivating scenery, mm -hmm. um, you take away a little bit of the excitement or of the of the um, um, yeah of the excitement if you start looking into the camera. Mm -hmm. Because in the, in, the, in the second you start looking at the camera, you're interacting with the camera, mm -hmm. and you don't want. Well, I would say you don't want to do that in in that kind of scenario. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he I did that it, a few times as he was yeah, swimming past just, the camera. I think he was just checking on the camera and mm. looking into it. Uh, it's not. It's not nothing really terrible, mm. bad. It's just like if it just keeps looking straight or somewhere else. Yeah. It's it's more. Yeah, it keeps more of the mm -hmm. the, the tension. Um, and the other thing is, I mean, it's pretty cool, like the way it is. Um, but I think if you want to put a little more effort in it, I think a narrator, um, well, yeah, so, something with a story mm -hmm. would be would be nice. I, I know we always say, oh, you need to get a story. But it's like, it's more like I can really imagine like either Sean talking or AI talking yeah. uh, about like little background facts about it. Just even more make it more exciting i think you got a point there i think it's the the background information that that would have been really nice because not all of us are you know very familiar with the the Ginny springs and uh and how this this cave system like what it all uh, sort of compiles off and what it's made of kind of I, i'm not a cave diver so i'm not very familiar with like the cave diving um procedures and stuff and also uh, not about specific cave systems so having a little bit more background information would be really interesting to to hear like how deep he's gone in how how deep down he is how long the dive was what the different chambers that he went into are called yeah. stuff like that and i can really imagine that in my head like somebody talking with like a, a like i don't know a very um a dark uh, american male voice like talking about like and now he's passing um intersection number one is going down to over 35 uh meters and that's after a, a while you know, it, it, that's it's a very good cool, impression yeah. you, sh you should become a narrator <laughs> you know no, no, so if you like, want to if you want to license sebastian's narrating voice then uh let us know down in the comment section below we'll make you a good price <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Um, <laughs> well, you see, the offer's got to come in now. Yeah, uh, no, um, no. I think it's it's really the video is really cool, but I think you can give it even more, mm. but, and and it makes it more. Yeah, as you said, it to give you the background information. It makes it more interesting for even more people to understand what right. I'm seeing. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I agree. But that's just a small little, yeah. you know, uh, add-on that you could could have done or still can do that is just going to make this piece a little a little even a little more special than what it is already but all in all sean really um kudos for having done this piece and then put it all together the way you did i'm highly impressed with like the end result that you came up with yeah, me too. So, yeah. really really cool work I don't have anything else, like the stuff that you talked about with the background information, I had that written down as well. I don't have any any other tips for Sean at this moment. Do you want to sum it up? Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, Sean, yeah, once again, kudos to the the effort you put in the project, all the planning, the uh, the gear you put down there and, and the execution, really, really impressive. You got some really cool, great shots in there, some very exciting shots and captivating shots. Um, we think there are two uh, parts you could work on, and it's just minor parts. This was the one thing we said about the looking into the camera, just to keep it, yeah, to keep the excitement up and 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 don't interact with the camera, just swim by it and don't look in it. Uh, that's one minor thing. And the other thing is like, just as Matthias said, uh, Matthias said um, build up a story like with background information, uh, either on screen or even even better with a narrator. Um, just to talk you through and give you some information what's happening and, and, and to understand mm -hmm. um, even more about the video. Yeah. Yeah. Still very impressed. Very cool. Cool.
Excellent. So we'll, as always, put the link to Sean's video and his YouTube channel down in the um, video description below. So feel free to go and check out the other content he's got on his channel. Now, if you guys have a film that you would like us to review, feel free to send us an email to contact at MatthiasLibo.com and uh, we'll, uh, we'll be more than happy to watch and review that film. Please include in the email a link to your video. Uh, quite important and also some background information as to what cameras you've used, if you've used lights, uh, if you've used any filters or any, any additional equipment that you've used, where it was recorded, stuff like that um, is very useful for us in uh, just being able to giving you the best possible feedback on your submission. Um, anything else? Well, you're talking about lights, filters and stuff like that. Um... Well, I think there's one company we could talk about if you need for your amazing smartphone housing, any lights or filters. That's very true. I nearly forgot our <laughs> series sponsor. I nearly forgot to mention them in today's video. As always, Divebook <laughs> is the sponsor of this video as well as the entire series. So we do want to take a moment to say thank you, Divebook, for um, for helping us out here and sponsoring the uh, videos, the series that we're making here. Divebook, uh, as you all guys know, is uh, our favorite pick when it comes to smartphone housings and not just smartphone housings. Uh, I mean, their housing is uh, uh, very well known being the one housing that lets you use your smartphone's touchscreen even underwater, so giving you full functionality and full use of all the functions of your smartphone underwater, which is absolutely great. But they also make a lot of other gear like underwater video lights, filters, um, wet lenses, trays, um, snoots. They, they've got, in the meantime, a huge... Um, a huge variety of different um, gear that they're making for underwater filmmaking and underwater photography. Uh, if you're interested in that, go and check out their website, their web shop, which will be linked down below the video. And as always, if you decide to get yourself something from the web shop, you can use the code Matthias Libo, which is going to give you an extra 6% discount on your entire order. So you can get yourself either one of their new colored housings or some other accessories if you want. And the accessories don't necessarily have to be used with the dive fork system. Like the lights, they work very well on other compact systems as well. So thank you very much, guys at Dive Fork for sponsoring today's video and offering such a great deal to our viewership. And thank you to you, Sebastian, for reminding me about that. Um, but I think now I've covered pretty no, much everything. You, you covered everything. Excellent. Cool. So again, Sean, thank you very much for your submission. For everyone else, thank you guys for watching. We hope that all of you were able to get some uh, something out of this video today. And if that's the case, then please do hit that like button and subscribe for more underwater video related content here on the channel. We will see you next Thursday for the next episode of Reviewing Your Underwater Films. And until then, we wish you a great week. And do not forget to keep capturing all those amazing underwater adventures of yours. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye.